think I'm being chased. Yep. I'm being chased. I have no idea where I'm going. Woo! Not good. I have no idea where I'm at. I wonder if I can get away. He found me. Good. Woo! This guy knows how to play. Woo! <laughs> okay, now I got to start my 30 minute timer because that's kind of the rule where you got to stay on 30 minutes to allow the police to look for you. That's why I like having the dirt bike because the, you're allowed to utilize the vehicle. So if this would have been a regular vehicle that you really don't want going into the dirt because obviously it's not realistic. Well, it can be because we've had, there's bad guys that will use vehicles that weren't made for all terrain and go into the all terrain type of stuff. But uh, this was pretty good. So I decided that I was gonna call 911 in on myself. And what I'm doing here in this particular, because this is a very common call that we get in law enforcement is a suspicious person. So I'm in a construction site. I'll show you guys right here. I'm in a construction site. It is open and fenced in. Now, obviously no one belongs in the construction site at night, but we get copper thieves, uh, or you get people looking for various different things that they could pawn. Um, they could sell at a, uh, like I said, the copper thieves, they'll steal copper wiring from construction sites and sell it at a recycling center. Um, it's actually a pretty big crime, not a big crime, but it's a, a very, a popular crime amongst um, transients because that's how they get some money but um, we we do have these calls for service where they, they sneak in so I went ahead and called 911 on myself and I'm gonna see what they're going to do as far as how they're going to investigate this are they gonna are they do they have enough to detain me are they going to arrest me I have no weapons on me I made sure I have no drugs I have no needles I have no bottles on me so I am clean I have my vehicle registration, my driver's license, I have some water and food on me. So that is about it. So this will be interesting to see what happens right now. Hello, this is a callback from the 911 dispatch. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hey, could you just verify that the postal was 1016? Is that correct? Yes, 1016 Great Ocean Highway in Palato Bay. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. We'll have units out there very shortly. Okay, thank you. So I'm doing the whole kneeling by the dumpsters. As soon as I see the police, I'm gonna start walking away. Um, if I get the jump on them, they may get the jump on me. Someone just drove through right there. There is a cop right there. So I am going to cancel my emote and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start walking away. Uh, can I help you, sir? Hey, how you doing? Uh, I'm doing okay, what's going on? Hey, uh, we just got some calls about a uh, suspicious person out in the uh, out in this construction site. Uh, I'm just kind of walking through. I've just taken a little shortcut. Okay, no worries. Um, you all right? I'm I'm doing great. Just kind of walking through. I was headed on over to the liquor store. Oh, another cop. Great. No worries, man. Um, yeah, do you uh, do you mind if we just get some ID from you, or if we can just get a name? Uh, yeah, I'll give you my ID. Let me get it. Appreciate it. Christopher Ramirez? Yes, sir. All right, perfect. Um, and you say you're just heading over to the liquor store? Yeah, I just thought I would take a shortcut. I mean, the, the construction site was open. I, I didn't, I didn't, you know, it's opened over there. So I just figured I'd walk through. Okay. Hey, no worries. Uh, just wait over here with this uh, officer and this other deputy here. I'm just going to check everything make sure everything's good and we'll uh, get you on your way okay oh okay did I do anything wrong uh right now it's just trespassing We're just making sure everything's okay and uh if everything's good we'll just get you on your way all right uh, okay well I to be honest I, I I I do have a criminal history so I just want to let you know when you run my name I I I've been in jail before okay yeah that's no problem appreciate you letting me know 
All right, um, I'll be right back, okay? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, how come you guys, like, have different uniforms? Mutual aid. Oh, oh okay. I, I don't know what that means, but okay. It means we're short staffed, so people from the city help out. Or vice versa. Oh, thank you, sir. I... What's your name? Christopher. Uh, you can call me Chris if you like, sir. Okay. Last name? Ramirez. You're not going today. I was going good until you guys showed up. Well, I just happened to be down the block and heard them go out with you, so I came on by to swing by. The, uh, just some people called in. They're just worried about you being out here. So as long as everything checks out, we'll get you out of here in a second. You're not in trouble or anything right now. Okay. Just seems like everywhere I go, I'm always running into you guys. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, a lot of people overreact these days, so. You don't happen to go by the nickname of Z, do you? Z? No, no, sir, I don't. Z? Uh, no. You heading anywhere tonight? I was going to head on over to the liquor store to get something to drink, but I'm, I'm here with you guys now. Yeah, well, we should take up too much of your time. should be out of here pretty soon. I, man, I I think you guys got better things to do and then stop me. I mean, that there has to be someone getting killed or something like that in uh, Los Santos or something. That's not how it works. Hey, Mr. Ramirez? Uh, yes, sir. Here's your ID back. Uh, you don't have any weapons on you or anything like that, do you? I do not. Okay. okay. Do you consent to a search or rather not? Uh, is there a reason why you want to search me? No, no, I'm just asking if that's alright with you, but uh, if you don't want to, that's fine. Uh, you know what? I, I got nothing to hide, man. You're w more than welcome to search me. Alright, I appreciate it. Do you mind just stepping over to the front of my truck there? Uh, no, sir. Hey, Captain, you good? Yeah, I'm, yeah, we're good. Alright, I'll just get on out of here. Appreciate it. Stay safe. Alright, uh, you got anything on you, like pocket knife or anything like that? Uh, no sir, I don't carry any weapons on me at all. Alright. Alright, so we have a DOT. The subject is uncooperative and hung up on death. Okay. Alright, sir. All right, sir. Uh, you can turn around. All right. Um, oh. Appreciate it. Um, yeah. So uh, if you're just cutting through here to go to the liquor store, I just letting you know. Uh, try to avoid cutting through here. We got a call from uh, security guard up here. He saw you cutting through here, calling a suspicious person. Um, yeah, everything's all good. Yeah, if you just want to head over to the exit, you can head over to the liquor store and then wherever else you need to go. But uh, you're good here. Uh, I, yes, sir. I appreciate that. I so, sorry if I caused any type of commotion. I I know I have a criminal record, but I, I I'm sorry that you guys had to come out here for this crap. Uh, I'm just gonna head on home if you if you guys are okay with that. Oh, no, you're fine. You're fine. I appreciate your honesty and everything. All like that and letting us know that's a real call on. guys um, it's a real call but uh yeah you're uh, you're good to go man uh thank you sir you guys have a good night i'm out of here man i'm gonna get out of here no worries you have a good rest yep. of your evening all right you too and that would be a real call they did their job they uh, stopped me. Now, uh, do they have a legal right to stop me? Absolutely. I'm in a place that I shouldn't be. Uh, they rent, you know, they asked me for ID. They, and, uh, oh, we got a little civilian there taking pictures. I wonder if that's a RP or not. Oh! What the heck? Oh! Uh. 
Sir, are you okay? No, I just got attacked by a dog. Can you call 911? Fucking hell. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Nope. You need to run. You need to run. Someone help me. I just got attacked by that dog. Help. Fuck. Sam threw seven shots oh fired at a dog. dog oh my god. Oh fuck. It's, it's a Terminator. <laughs> oh my god. Don't believe I just Oh my god. Are you alright? I got bit by that damn dog. What the oh hell? God. Oh my god. Excuse all right. me, I'm, I'm late. Can you move? Is that a police dog? You can't go this way. No. Oh my god, I'm never going through a construction site ever again. Oh, they're just gonna go around. <laughs> Sam oh. 37. Oh my fucking god. Gonna need EMS 1014 for Tokyo yeah. Drive for a dog bite. Oh. Can I go over to the guard railing, if you don't yes. mind, sir? Yes. <laughs> well, EMS is coming. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I, I don't think I, any of us expected this to happen. The dog was like a cat, man. It had nine lives. I know. <laughs> I shot it, and then it jumped back up. Oh, at least the fire department's right down the road. Oh, God, my arm hurts, man. Oh, this sucks. I'll bet. I'd bandage it, but they're so close, it'd take me longer to get to my truck and get the bandage. Nah, man, you guys did enough already. Thanks. Okay, that guy could have chewed so me out. I, I feel like you were coming over to talk to me, and then that happened. I, I was, yeah, I was just gonna walk over to the liquor store and I freaking get attacked by a dog. What the fuck? Oh my god. I did not even plan on that dog attacking me. I did not. I thought I was gonna walk right by the dog and he attacks me. Uh, how's he doing? He said his arm hurts, but EMS is pulling up. Okay. We don't set off shot spotters, do we? No. Okay. I'm gonna run over to 1067 real quick. Yeah, if you wanna go help them out, I'll yeah. handle the rest here. Alright. Oh, no one get ran over by them. Uh, it sucks. Uh, it sucks, man. It hurts. Absolutely, dog bites aren't uh, aren't great. Oh man, thanks. I'm glad you guys are there. I don't know what I would have done if uh, you guys weren't here. That dog would have tore me up. Uh, well, we got the medics here. They're gonna take a look at you. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks again. No worries. You need any water or anything? No, I'm good, man. It's this just hurts. Looks like we have some blood coming from that right arm. I'm not sure you see that. Yeah, my arm hurts. I'm lucky the cops were here, man. They shot that dog before he can tear me up even more. I'm just gonna put it in the septic in it. Yeah, it's infected. Yeah. Do you guys have anything for the pain, man? This hurts a bit. That hurts a lot. If you want, I could push a bit of more can you do. Does it mean I have to go to the hospital? You have to go, go, go to the hospital. Yeah. Cut is pretty deep. Oh uh, crap, this is not what I wanted to do, man. Alright. Probably gonna have to get a rabies shot as well, too. Sir, you're a hero, man. I, I think that dog would have tore my ass up if you didn't shoot it. Okay, sir, uh, I'm just gonna push two, two in the middle of the ground. Just mostly just piece of pain. Do I have to go to the hospital? I mean, is that your recommendation? Yeah, I'll recommend because it, that, that fight is quite deep. Alright, man. I'll take your word for it. Okay. Are you able to walk? Yeah, yeah, sir. I'll get up right now. I'll get. I'll walk. I'll go to your gurney. Okay. Yeah. I'm kind of glad that I was able to get two little scenarios in for them because you know, obviously, with me being a paramedic, I'm able to give them some background on that. Now, the paramedic side of it definitely has a lot of work to do. It. They should have asked me my name. Uh, what you do is your primary assessment. You do a primary assessment, which consists of a few different things, but then eventually you would take a blood pressure, pulse and respirations, they would report that to each other um, and do the secondary assessment, which is basically a head to toe. Since it was a dog bite, I as a medic would definitely do a head to toe 
on that saying um, to look for any other injuries because my arm may be hurting so much that I don't know if I'm hurt someplace else and so forth. But it's cool because it's, this is why I don't want to play a cop. I, I, get, I play a cop at work and I just want to do this stuff to make it more enjoyable and fun for all the other RPs, the medics, the firefighters, and the police officers. And I'm actually enjoying myself. You guys can see by my smile, I'm having more fun doing this than I would be being a cop because I know how to, let me see your registration yes, not, proof of insurance. Good, good, good. Oh, oh, okay, sir. Thank you very much. Kind of chasing the fire truck. Now, where are they going? Taking the two. The two is actually a real freeway in Los Angeles. It's a Glendale freeway. Actually, yes, it would be right here. Wait, no, where would the two be? Yeah, they could transition from... Nah, the, yeah, no, it's not this area, though. This would be the five for us, I think. Got my, my bearings on uh, actual buildings. Kind of hard right now. How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing okay. You're, everything all right? Yeah, I'm just watching the firefighters. Alrighty. You weren't, you weren't following them really fast, were you? You weren't going like 80 miles an hour down the road following them. I don't think I was. All right. Have a good one. Okay, you too. <laughs> yeah, I was. Oh, uh, just to let you know, um, I understand good. you're taking photos. That's fine, but I just like you to stay on this side of the uh, street, okay? Uh, yes, officer, I will. All right, appreciate it, man. Okay, thank you for your service. <laughs> they're doing a good job i gotta admit we would call these uh oh my gosh what are these called these are called um oh my gosh i forget you can see them on youtube where uh, people they do stuff like this they go to crime scenes and scenes like this and they take pictures and that type of stuff so um uh i forget uh, i forget what they're called there's a term but anyways, that's what I'm doing though, because this really happens. But not me chasing him. If I would have thought that I was the firefighter said this guy was chasing us, I would have asked him for some ID. Good day, sir. I'm doing okay. Hey, is your deputy that had the smoke inhalation still on scene, or did he go with no. the, the other bag? He's going to pillbox. He'll get checked out there. Okay. He's cleared to drive. All right, sir, is there any reason uh, we're getting told that you are uh, recklessly following fire personnel vehicles? I don't know what you're talking about. I just arrived here and started taking pictures. All right, well, we have fire personnel since stating that they have camera footage from their vehicles that shows you going opposite lanes and running red lights behind them while they're responding. Uh, I don't know what they're talking about. All right, well, at this time, you're going to be detained, all right, while we look into this, all right? Uh, okay, what am I being detained for? Being detained for our investigation right now, all right? Just go ahead and turn around. Hands behind your back. Uh, okay, first of all, what did I do, though? What, can you tell me what law I broke? Currently, you were a suspicion of reckless driving. And that calls for that guy putting his hand on his gun? A lot of cops just rest their hands on their guns. It's just a comfortable place. So why don't you just go ahead and spin around for us, put your hands behind your back for me. All right. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> it's all right. Just give me time. Handcuffs? It's detainment. Uh, okay for a for an infraction. I, I think reckless driving is only an infraction if that was me and it wasn't. Do you have any form of ID on you? Uh, yeah, it's in my back pocket. All right. Is there anything else in that back pocket I need to know about before I reach you and grab your ID? No, I have nothing on me, man. I'm going to put you in the back of this truck here, all right? Are you? Before I do that, I'm going to patch you down real quick. Hey, you got anything that's going to poke me or anything? No, but are you f serious? Like the commander said, it's detainment. 
So he's investigating what's going on. So if it wasn't you, then perfect. But that's the point of detainment. We're investigating what's well, happening. Well, I sure hope that they can uh, ID me. Now, me, I would not have put me in handcuffs. I would detain the driver, sit him on the curb, and talk to him, identify him, check around to see, okay, they said I followed him, so find my motorcycle, which is right there in sight, so that's fine. Right, did, you, did you say your name was? It's uh, Christopher Ramirez. Were you uh, a few months ago, back in Polito Bay, uh, did you get police call on you for like trespassing? I wasn't trespassing, I was actually standing on a public curb flipping off the firefighters because I can't stand firefighters. Mr. Ramirez, where's your bike at? I parked it a couple of blocks away. Blocks away? Okay. I think I gave you um, reference numbers to call, like, you know, that uh, that kitchen for, like, employment opportunities, like, a while ago. You did, man. And that's You did. I remember you, and that's why I'm being cool with you. But this is bullshit. That's why I got, I got, was able to get back on my feet. That's why I was able to, I'm starting to do a blog. I sell my photographs to the uh, tabloids. So that's why I was right here taking pictures. Oh, you think you got any good photos? Uh, not really, because you guys wouldn't let me get close, but if I would have had a better lens, I would have got some definite good photos. Uh, we got some footage here from that fire truck. They have a rear-facing camera on their truck, and uh, shows you following them through red lights and pulling up here and getting off your bike. Yeah, sorry, man, that wasn't me. It wasn't you in the footage, is it? showed the footage all the way up to this scene and showed you pull over where your bike is over there and get off. No, nope, not me, man. All right. Well, unfortunately, we have we have evidence that it was you. So you're going to be charged today with some reckless driving for following a vehicle like that. All right. No, it's not all right because it wasn't me. We have what we have. If you uh, disagree, then you can go ahead and take it to court. You will have a court date. Ah, oh, this is ridiculous. Now, what we're going to do for you is we don't want to take you in on this, all right? But we're going to be pretty stern. You can't be following emergency vehicles to the scenes, especially through red lights and at the speeds they're doing to get to the scenes, all right? So we're going to give you, you're going to be getting a reckless driving citation today. It's going to be a sight and release, all right? That means you get to go home, but you technically still have the charge on you, and you're going to have to show up for a court date, all right? Yeah, man, that's nothing I can do. You're in charge. All right, Mr. Ramirez, I'm going to type this up for you and get you out of here as soon as we can, all right? All right, that's a bunch of BS, though. When's the last time you checked on your insurance status and your registration status on your bike? Uh, everything should be up to date. I just got the bike, so I know I'm good on insurance for a year, and my registration is good for a year. I think everything expires next, like, 2022 20, next month, or, like, like September. I'm showing it as expired already. Your registration expired on the 21st of this on my, month. On my motorcycle? Yeah. And then your insurance is also expired on the 22nd of this month, this year. I, I just bought the bike. I, the DMV should have gotten my fees to, uh, you know, to to register my bike. Well, you, I mean, you can't drive it out of here. You know that, right? With expired reg? No, I, I, yeah, I know. All right. Well, I was making sure you're aware you can't drive it out of here. So we'll have to... Yes, you can. Actually, you can. I marked it down as expired. I think it's the... Let me see. Hold on here. All right, it's going to be a sight and release, meaning you're technically being arrested, but we're just going to release you with a citation, and you're going to have a court date over. Okay. So the, we're going to just yeah, I really be for the uh, emergency vehicle. Yeah. The uh, DA may tack on charges if they go over the video footage here, so just be prepared for that. And uh, that's all I got for you, unless you got any more questions for me. Nah, I got nothing for you, man. Thanks. I wonder if I can get to my bike before they get to my bike. Nope. Oh, well. Lost my bike. Ah! So, in California, you could drive away with an expired registration. It's a fix-it ticket. That's all it is. So I, they keep referring to the penal code. I guess in GTA 5, 5M server, we only have a penal code. We don't have a vehicle code. So it is what it is. But I'm going to go ahead and plant my ass here and call it a night. So um, I gave them something that they can use. It's real life stuff. How I would handle that, 
a little bit different. The guy was cool. The suspect was cool. I probably would have given him a stern warning. Maybe a ticket. I'd give him maybe a ticket and let him uh, go. However, here's the problem is you have to have a positive ID. Color helmet, clothing. He could explain all that to me. And plus two, since he's giving me a citation for a misdemeanor, it's a misdemeanor. I'm a, I have basically uh, committed a misdemeanor not in his presence which can't arrest me for in the state of california you cannot arrest someone for a misdemeanor in um in um in uh whatchamacallit uh, not committing your presence there's a couple of them that you can but for the most part no so at the very minimum a reckless vehicle being told by a third party that third party could put me under citizen's arrest and so forth so not really the way this handled would be the way we would do it here in california if you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon notification at Gameology and definitely follow them on both YouTube and Facebook. You can follow me on my own channel, Chris DeCop, and watch gameplay just like this. And this is Chris DeCop reminding all of you, peace.